Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're back at you with, guess what? Another Ratchet video. Uh, this one is a Proto. And this looks like, uh, looks like more of the industrial style of newer Ratchets. But uh, we'll jump into that in a second. But before all that, if you like my videos and you find this information at all helpful or informative, you like ratchets, tools, whatever, uh, give me a like and also subscribe to this channel. Okay, here's a Proto half inch, half inch drive. This is the 449, no, 44, the 5449 XLQR, made in USA. And it has the number 4V. I'm not sure what the 4V is could be a date code possibly you guys out there who know something let us know what that might be uh, this is a 5449 but not to be confused with this other monster the the old venerable 5449 that Proto has been they've been making this for like 60 70 years so no it's not the same model but for some reason i think proto they like the numbers and they don't want to change the numbers so i guess they just add, added the xl at the end to differentiate differentiate between the models but this is the old proto and this one's pretty beat up but i just wanted to make that distinction and this one's a quick release you see the button here and it has a little plunger that sticks out uh yeah you would say maybe industrial maybe you don't want a quick release because it can weaken the anvil but this anvil i don't know looks pretty thick to me even with the hole in the middle it looks uh i don't know looks pretty beefy and this on on the whole this whole ratchet is pretty beefy uh, it's pretty heavy uh, the knurling on this pss, mm, not the greatest it's pretty flat uh, I would say it's even around the whole the whole handle it's pretty consistent but it doesn't look like it was uh they did much to achieve that maybe they even stamped it someone was telling me in the comments that some some companies stamp uh the knurling that could be could be a possibility here at the end as a whole don't know for what uh i stuck a probe in there or a pick and there's not much in there just whatever it's made of okay uh interesting design it's not a it's only 45 teeth it's pretty coarse but not a bat wing paw you can see that the, the the switch stays in the same position this one has a snap ring one of those kind of uh I don't know odd shaped snap rings and for you guys out there who think I don't have a set of snap ring pliers here are my channel locks I know somebody in the comments uh, the other day said how can you call yourself snap ring chronicles if you don't even have a snap ring plier well I have a few of them and this is one of them okay now whether I can use them or not is another thing let me see if I can there we go here is the snap ring not much to see there except that it's kind of pointy now like they use in, and I've seen this in some ratchets use like these pointier ones okay now this one has a little plate uh, it's pretty thin 
but the interesting thing about this plate is it has a seal a kind of a rubber seal around it that's connected with little uh, little posts that go through holes is anchored in the holes of the plate itself so here's the back of it this is the sealing part mm, never quite seen or seen one at all that has a plate with a seal around it like this so I don't know I guess that's a neat feature okay uh, here is the gear uh, this one's in pretty good shape it looks pretty brand new uh, 45 teeth like I, I said before another thing is this one has o-rings also on both sides so not only is it protected by the, the the gasket in the plate here it also has o-rings on either side of the gear and you see the ball detent looks pretty good overall so far my impression of this whole thing is this is a well done ratchet from the o-rings and the gasket and the machining inside it looks pretty good and not surprising uh, this these ratchets I looked online they go for between 75 and 105 uh, I think surprisingly on Amazon they had this ratchet for hundred and five dollars which was uh, I guess a little bit expensive than the other places I saw here's the pole nicely machined pole very nicely done seven teeth I believe one two three four five six seven yep seven big teeth on this pole kind of looks like a bat wing but it doesn't not the same performance so there's the pole and here is the switch and when you take out all the stuff now you can push out the switch the switch has a little plunger in it and a spring the spring looks pretty tight a little bit long you can see there and the plunger is hollow it's the opening where you put the spring in and that's the top and this plunger rides I guess on this side of uh, the pole and it keeps it up this way or, or up that way and again the switch the switch itself is made of metal of course nicely done also very clean nicely machined and it has also an o-ring around the edge in the front to protect it from debris so we have three o-rings two on the gear one on the switch and a gasket on the plate so it's pretty pretty good pretty nicely protected and inside the mechanism here you see uh, looks pretty good uh, a little bit of cloudiness in here I'm not sure what that is uh, maybe I need to clean that up a little bit better get maybe it's residue or something uh, pretty beefy all around here the walls especially down here by the pole looks very nicely put together and here is the channel where the, 
the snap ring lays in has a loop there to keep it in so yeah so far everything looks pretty good uh, to get this all back together take your switch and you press it in till it can't go anymore you take your spring you put that in the hole in the back there like that and your plunger and you put that on top of the spring like that now you take your pole with this little uh, protrusion facing out it goes in between that little notch there that's how it switches and press it down like that and I put it to one side like that and that way I can drop my paw in there okay this is how it switches and this is the engagement and this is a very solid engagement because as you can see all seven teeth are engaged on the gear not just the teeth on this side or when you switch the teeth on that side all teeth are engaged so it's a pretty tight pretty tight lockup and then you take your plate with uh, with your gasket facing down into the mechanism and now you grab your pliers and your snap ring and you compress your ring and you get it in there like that now you test it out it's pretty tight pretty tight in there just very little wobble or any wobble at all and you switch it test it out and there you go alright so that's uh, my teardown and review of this Proto 5449XLQR I think the QR is a quick release because I did see one model it didn't have a quick release but this one did have a quick release and it's made in USA and as I said it also says 4V this is I would most likely say I would yeah I would definitely say this is a pro style ratchet it's up there to compete with the with the big guys uh, probably snap on and whatnot this uh, hits me as an industrial ratchet um, because of the coarseness of it and the beefiness of it so this is I guess part of their industrial line and I'll say this is quite a ratchet alright guys until next time